Welcome to Bluefin. I'm George Castro, a contributor to Bluefin. I remember leaning over to my friend Marco Cepi and telling him, you know what? We can bust this thing out in a weekend. And we did. Here we are just a short two years later and we're shipping in beta. Bluefin is Fedora. It's a Linux for your computer with special tweaks that we've atomically layered on top in a unique way uh, that we feel solves a lot of problems that have been plaguing Linux desktops. So it comes in two flavors. The first is just Bluefin. It is a GNOME desktop with a dock on the bottom, app indicators on top, and uh, the flat hub store enabled out of the box. You don't have to do any configuration or anything. You don't really have to care about where they come from. It's great. We take care of the codecs for you. We do a bunch of hardware enablement. Your game controllers are gonna work. There's gonna be uh, things that might not work in def uh, default Fedora that we try to fix. And we also try to bring in as many things as we can, including NVIDIA drivers. There's no reason anymore for your operating system to, co to compile a module uh, every time you do an upgrade. We do it all in CI and it's great. We fully automate the maintenance of the desktop because we're shooting for a Chromebook, but you want a quote unquote real Linux. You want a desktop environment, you want a terminal, and it's all there. So that's all we do. That's literally it. It's designed to be installed on a machine and then you don't touch it for the rest of its life. It has a slow rolling tag model that you can read about in the documentation and you can always use the latest uh, version of Fedora as well. And since it comes with a container runtime, like all good cloud native desktops should, uh, the world is at your fingertips. You can run anything you want. And that's what brings us to the developer experiences, which, would I want, which is what I wanna talk about today, because that's something that's important to us as Linux nerds. And I wanna talk about the mission of Bluefin. This is not just about an operating system. So by typing just dev mode, Bluefin will kick into what we call developer mode. And if you've used Linux already, this is probably what you want to use. Whereas normal Bluefin, it's great. That's what I wanna to give to my dad. But people like us, we need virtualization. We need way more tooling. All of that kind of stuff that just wouldn't make sense on a default desktop. So we switched it to it. Uh, if you're on a NVIDIA machine or a framework laptop, we're working on M1 and M2 images as well. Um, all of this stuff will be mostly transparent to you. You'll just be on the developer experience image and then um, you'll be good to go. It comes with VS Code out of the box with dev containers. This is the declarative container files that have already been used in industry. The tooling is mature. It is out there already and we just take advantage of it. So we ship VS Code on the image uh, ready to go with dev containers out of the box. Um, and we feel that that is the preferred uh, workflow. Um, additionally, it offers homebrew. So homebrew on Linux is great now. So that great, that cool tool that you read about on Hacker News or things like that uh, are always there because so many Linux users are using Macs. We're, I'm just going to take advantage of it and it's using OCI packages and it's great. So that's why I've decided to do that. We give you other tools like DevPod, which you can connect to Visual Studio Code and that lets you get that code spaces experience on any cloud or your local environment as well. Great tool from the folks at loft.sh and we love that. And then we give you Nix with DevBox. Uh, just type a few commands. Brian Kettleson's put uh, Fleek in there for you to set it all up and you can run all of your packaging things in your home environment with Nix or Homebrew, it doesn't matter. And additionally, we ship DistroBox and Toolbox as well. So if you want uh, to use existing distribution OCI containers as your workflow, you can do that. You can consume anything from anywhere. Any distro that has an OCI image, all of the good ones already do, Debian, Ubuntu, OpenSUSE, any package format that you want, you can just consume on this thing. It doesn't matter anymore. Um, so you just choose what to decide, choose what makes you happy. Underneath the operating system is solid. We do automatic updates, it's image-based. You can do your rollback. If you're an NVIDIA user, you can go ahead and rebase between different major versions of NVIDIA, depending on what RPM Fusion is supporting at the time. But it gives you that flexibility to not only switch driver channels, but distribution channels as well. If you want to go back a version from 39 
to 38 to test if you have a regression. This is not like ButterFS snapshots. This is more like Git where you're rebasing to something else. And that something else is the OCI container, which has been running in production for over a decade running the world's infrastructure. It's new to Linux desktop and some of you are just starting to get a taste of it. That's why we have a mission. So Universal Blue, the base images are, you know, they're kind of stock. We don't, uh, they don't have an opinion. Bluefin does have an opinion. Um, part of the reason that we started this is the Linux desktop has not kept up. So uh, I wanted, I, I told my friends, if only we could do a reboot of the Linux desktop and start from scratch and, and not deal with any of the problems that we do today, reliability of upgrades, right? Um, the entire packaging mess, all of that stuff. Um, and it, you know, the fact that upgrades uh, still break for people, right? If you look at the most common Linux problems people are posting about, people are still having these problems uh, that, that I grew up a Debian with in, in 2008 and the rest of the industry has moved on. And unfortunately the Linux desktop is, is not considered you know, nobody's bragging about the Linux desktop when it comes to, um, you know, the level of improvement that the rest of open source is enjoying. So one of the reasons that I want to do this is to bring those patterns of success to the Linux desktop. And Bluefin is hopefully the first of many example projects out there that are kind of trying to bring patterns that we know succeed and allow us to consume it on our desktops because that's important, right? Like having a free operating system that we control as a community, right? And can and complete what we want, how we want it done is totally feasible. We can totally do that, but we need to pass the starter dungeon, right? Of, of where the Linux desktop is today and where distributions are frankly failing to, to meet that need. And some of them are trying and we, you know, I'm planting the flag there and she's going to be a dinosaur. Um, <laughs> so Bluefin kind of represents that evolution of the desktop that I want to see. So um, that's why we picked the dinosaur. And I picked her specifically because these are the style of dinosaurs that evolved and then became the birds that we enjoy today. I'm going to link to a video that I did for a work talk that talks about ecosystems and surprise, surprise, it's about dinosaurs, right? Um, but that will kind of show you the larger problem that I'm trying to solve, uh, along with other other people that care about open source, right? We need maintainers. We need to onboard folks. We need people to take care of this infrastructure. This is internet load-bearing stuff, right? And it needs to start at the computer. So if you are just getting into Linux and you're able to get Bazite on your Steam Deck or play with this and learn this technology to change the wallpaper of your desktop, that's the kind of people that we're looking for, for that next generation. No one's saying that. So I'm just gonna say, it. Um, that's, what, that's, that's what I'm going to do. So I've obviously put a lot of effort and thought into this um, and a lot of people have actually done the work. I haven't maintained lots of parts of Bluefin in a while, just doing your reviews. Um, having a community of people who care about delivering you a good experience has been very rewarding for me. And Linux doesn't have to be this gatekeepy thing where people make fun of you because you know you don't understand what you're doing. We could also just all figure it out and ship it. And now thanks to the investment that Fedora has made into this technology, I'm going for it. That's gonna be my mission. That's, that's what I realized what I wanted to do uh, with Bluefin. And when I passed the idea around uh, to other people who contributed, it, it, we couldn't get wait to get started and show you what we have. She's rough around the edges. She might nip at you a little bit, um, but our heart and soul is in her and um, I'm ready to go. I hope you enjoy the artwork. I commissioned this from two awesome paleo artists. Uh, there'll be, uh, there's links on the website. Jacob did the, uh, the backgrounds. They fade at night and stuff like that. And they kind of represent uh, what I'm talking about in the video that I'll link to next. And it's the importance of that robust ecosystem. And for me, it's getting it to the end user as more reliable as possible. So sorry to ramble. I know many of you have been following this channel for a while. Thank you very much. Um, 
and uh yeah let's get started she's gonna evolve over time she's gonna I mean, look at look at look at this crazy eye she's uh i don't know she's kind of on a mission and she kind of represents what i'm doing i hope you enjoy the artwork and i hope you enjoy uh the work we're putting into this and uh stay safe out there everyone <laughs>